Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this face. Um, I called it in the title like my flawless face. It's not actually flawless, but it just looks really um, full coverage and yeah, I don't know. I like it. So I hope you guys do too and let's just jump on into it. Okay, so let's just start off by priming the skin. I've been loving this from Too Faced. This is the Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. Like literally you guys, I, I love this. I love this so much and I think this is the last time I'll be able to use it because it's a little sample and I've been like squeezing all I can out of it because I love this. It is so, 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 so moisturizing. Um, and it kind of smells a little, like it smells like, oh, maybe that's kind of good, but then you're like, no, it's not. I don't really know if I like the smell or not, but it just, oh my God. It's such a good primer for dry skin. We're a little bit more zoomed in. Hope you're liking that. Um, yeah, so this thing is amazing and I want to buy it, but I feel like it's kind of expensive. So, I don't know. Do you know any dupes for this? Let me know. Save my life. So that's like kind of my moisturizer and my primer all built into one. Normally I would do moisturizer and then a primer, but now it's just like all built into one, which I really like. So, yeah, I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay foundation stuff and I also use a lot of different foundations but favorite one is mm, I don't know I have like top three so this is in the top three it's really good for like filming um, I also really 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 like the L'Oreal true match and I also really like the covergirl three in one so I actually did a review on all of these so I will link my review first impressions playlist because that's where all of them are, and you can check that out if you're interested. I like to use this foundation for filming days mostly, and I'll use the L'Oreal or the CoverGirl one every day. Just because I feel like this foundation is perfect for camera work, you know? I don't know. So I kind of just like smear it all over my face, and then I just blend for days. And I'm using my beauty blender. La la la. a little bit more on areas that I'm a little bit red still um, for me that's around the nose a little bit on the nose in between the eyebrows <laughs> um, and then kind of like a cheek area so honestly my whole face apparently uh, but yeah so I just kind of put more on to do a second layer and then I'll also go underneath my neck just to blend everything because I don't want awkward lines and you know, so then we just blend again. <laughs> and if I have any left, <laughs> and if I have any extra, I will just put it on kind of random areas where it's like it's not crazy red, but like if you could cover more, you should. Um, and then I just kind of like rub the rest in my hands because I'm classy like that. That's it for the foundation. So now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the shade Light and I really like using this because um, it's super orangey kind of so it counteracts the darkness under my eyes and kind of brightens it a little bit. It's kind of like peachy I guess and then I'll go over it with a different shade because this shade doesn't really match me. It kind of oxidizes weird. I don't know, it's not light enough for me. So then I'll go over it with another concealer that's more brightening. So, I don't know. It looks nice, I think. Okay, so we got that going on. I like to feel my face. I don't know why I keep doing it. It's weird. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser Concealer thing. And I make a little bit of a triangle under my eyes. I don't know if you can really pick it up very well, but I used to go like all the way down here and then all the way back up, but I've kind of minimized the size of the triangle. Then I'll also take some down the nose, right here, kind of make a little triangle, right here on the cupid bow, <laughs> my chin, and then I'll kind of dot it along the jaw. 
and now that we're all concealed and kind of highlighted and brightened and stuff, I will just go in again with my beauty blender, kind of blend everything out and make it super flawless. Great! Amazing! And then whenever I put on like foundation or concealer, it always tends to just go over my lips and make them non-existent, but that's okay, we can always finish that up later. So now moving on, I'm going to go in with my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I go between a lot of different bronzers. There's really not a certain bronzer I'll use every single day. Like, no matter what, um, I kind of gravitate. This one looks a lot more natural than, like, a defined contour, which I've been kind of doing lately. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's, I have, like, a hair or something there. But it just, it looks natural, but it also kind of kind of looks a little substantial. I don't really know. I like it though. So I'm using an e.l.f. angled blush brush. Yeah. And basically I just kind of pocket it there. And yeah. And then I'll put some kind of a little bit on the forehead just to make it look a little bit smaller, a little bit tanner, like DJ. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I'll also take some put it directly under the jaw and like chin I guess. I'm going to go in with a smaller kind of fluffy brush and this is the Elf Flawless Concealer Brush and I'm just going to take some of the bronzer, whatever bronzer I'm using that day, and then I'm just going to kind of make my nose a little bit more contoured. Basically I just draw a line um, a little bit more up than my nose actually is obviously because that'll make it look smaller. And then I just kind of put some the leftover product and then I'll blend this out. So I put product down the sides, under, and a little bit over. And that makes it look uh, longer and taller and thinner. Okay! <laughs> I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush and Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana Bronzer. I can't do an air quote if I only have one finger. Bronzer. Um, and I take this and put it down the nose. Right here, kind of middle forehead eyebrow area thing um, right here right here and also kind of where I put the concealer before and now I'm gonna do my blush so I'm gonna take the City Color Be Matte blush this one is in Blackberry I like this one it looks a lot more cool toned than it does on the cheeks um, which is different, I guess. I didn't really expect that, but I really, 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 really liked the color. And the fact that it's matte makes me happy. So I kind of put in the backs of my cheeks. Um, that kind of gives my face a little bit more of an angle, too, compared to, like, apples, which makes it look, look a little bit more round. So whatever look you want to go for. And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. fan brush, which if you've seen my review on the brushes from e.l.f. or maybe some other videos, I've talked about how I hate this brush. But if you have a product that is so pigmented, this brush is perfect. So I kind of take that back when I set it throughout the years. But if you're using this with something like the e.l.f. baked bronzer or I don't know, something that's like really tightly um, packed, it might not really work that well. But something like the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors, it works amazingly. So this is opal. If you've ever seen it, you probably have. Um, and I'm just going to take some, dust it on my brush just a tad, and then just kind of put it on the tops of my cheekbones. And I used to put this highlighter all over my face where I would highlight, you know, like the complete cross of my face. But now I just put it on certain points of my face. Um, so I'll put it here and there. This is for every day. When I'm filming, I don't do this at all because, as you can tell, it's really, really um, intense for the camera. But for the sake of this video, I will. And then I'll put some right here under, like above my lip, I guess. Keep its bow situation. A little on the chin, but nothing crazy there. And maybe a tiny bit, whatever's left, on the bridge of my nose. And then I'll go in with any brush that I have and just kind of really bluff, bluff, blend and buff um, that out and just make sure that it looks a little bit more soft and subtle. But see, like, it's still so intense for the camera, but in person it's a lot more just like, ooh, that's a natural glow. So that's why I normally don't do it for the camera, just because it's a little bit much. 
but it's fine. Um, and that's it for my flawless face. I wouldn't say that my face is flawless by any means at all, but I would just say this is something I like to do when I want to have kind of a more uh, full coverage face or full covered makeup look or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, comment, thumbs up, and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Let me love you too if you're alright.